So we are going to talk about community management in social media land. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, stick with me and I'll give you a bit of a rundown. So community management is basically thinking about online, being online. Um, an online community manager builds, grows and manages online communities. So if you think about Facebook groups, um, LinkedIn groups, they're people that are in there responding to social media comments um, on your page or profile um, and responding to those group uh, requests. So social media manager or community manager. So they are not necessarily the same thing. Not all social media managers offer community management and not all community managers offer social media. So a social media manager is generally responsible for the posts and the social media account itself, whereas a community manager is also, in some cases, only responsible for managing the members and the community that are engaging with those accounts. Community management, these are some examples of things that community managers do. Approve uh, member requests to Facebook and or LinkedIn groups. Uh, monitor posts for adherence to group rules. And they also, in consultation with you, take action against the rule breakers. So you both need to work together to decide how are we going to manage those people that aren't following the group rules um, and that are kind of stepping outside the zone. And they're generally the people that will take that action. They may respond to direct messages to the accounts. Um, some clients don't like to have someone else responding, some do. So, you know, that's a conversation for you to have together and work out whether that's something that you want done or whether your uh, social media manager is comfortable with doing that. They tend to monitor the conversations and feed back to you. Um, I know uh, I've generally fed back once a month to um, my clients about frequently asked questions, any issues that you've seen popping up in the group, um, any suggestions, those types of things. Um, and they also tend to engage in the comments on your behalf because as we know, higher engagement means um, that our posts get seen more and the reach increases. So that's something that uh, community managers can offer. There's something that I'd really like to draw attention to about community management, and that's, I've alluded to this, not all social media managers actually provide community management, moderation and monitoring of the comments, particularly in groups. Um, it can be quite time consuming, and for some social media managers, it's just not something that they want to do in their business. Uh, so that's a conversation that you absolutely need to have together. Clear expectations have to be set and discussed. So you must have boundaries in place and expectations discussed. Keep it all out in the open right in the beginning um, between yourself and your social media manager. You've got to agree as to what that role is going to look like. How many times a day are they going to check um, membership requests to the group? How many times a day are they checking comments? Uh, those types of things. Um, if there's an expectation that they are, you know, checking every time um, something, you know, a membership request or a post goes up, then you really need to be paying for that availability. Generally, social media managers will charge additional fees for community management. It's generally not included um, in just the posting and your posting schedule. So they're things to keep in mind. If you'd like more information on how to work with social media managers or if you're a social media manager and you'd like more information, really anything social media and marketing, follow me. There's my links. Take care.